Floss Tube, welcome back. Uh, this is Tara, also known as the 805 Stitcher, and this is a channel about cross stitch and any other crafts I want, maybe some book reviews. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been about, well, the last Floss Tube I did was April 30th because I did it right before Stitch Mania because I wanted to talk about my mania plans and um, yeah. It's was today, the 19th. Yeah. Phew, time flies by. Um, I have no notes, so we are just winging this. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers I have. Thank you to people who are returning. Thank you to anyone who is new. Um, yeah, just I, it surprises me when people keep coming back. And even when I don't make floss tubes very often. But thank you. Um... Yeah, what's been what have I been doing for six weeks? I've been busy. Um, like I said before, my Etsy shop is blown up because of, I think it's because everyone's staying at home, so they need all their bags for their projects. Um, I have no notes today because I just wanted to get on here and record. So. Um, Life, nothing much change. Uh, my grandson's getting bigger. My granddaughters learn how to ride a bike. Um, I go to work every day. Uh, yeah, that didn't change much. Um, things here in California have lightened up. Uh, as of today, I think you can get your toenails done. So um, I got my hair done, finally. Don't have the corona hair anymore. Um, restaurants are opening up, you know, with limited seating and they have a lot of seating outside. So, um, yeah, still kind of, we'll get through it. Um, so the last time I was here, uh, was right before Stitch Mania and I went over my Stitch Mania plans. My Stitch Mania kind of just fell apart at the end. I did good, like, through the 19th, so, um... But, uh, I'll go over that, you know, we'll go over that. We, I have some finishes. I know, surprise. Um, some finishes. I have some new starts. I have whips. I have haul. And then at the end, I will show a little bit of, um, new fabric haul, some new bags I'm hoping to make. But, so if you don't want to see that, then just... You know, you don't have to watch it. So, anyway, um, oh, I went to Joanne's. I just got back from Joanne's today. And, um, I picked up this. Is that cute? Look at pretty things. They're to be. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I had to have that. So, that'll go somewhere in here, in the craft room. All right, um, well, let's go. Finishes. I have two. Um... The first one is Lindy Stitches, Stretton and Tom, and I have the kit. I have all the everything that goes with it, so uh, I just need to fully finish it. I have not done that yet, but mm, here it is, all done. Isn't it cute? I um I had like 20 stitches left, and I ran out of Battleship. Sweet, yeah, Sweet Star Wars Battleship. So I had to wait for a, an order and then I got the rest of the stitches in. So this goes, it'll be a pin cushion. Um, I got the pins, I got all that, all the things. So yeah, I was really excited to get that done. My next finish I did was, um, and I can't find the chart. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, um, the next finish I did was Blackbird Design. Octopus's Garden. Pretty cute. There are so many mistakes in this, it's not even funny. But I did probably um, all the call for colors, all the, this is the call for linen, I'm sure, because this is one of the first projects I started back up doing when I started cross-stitching again. So I love it. I'm going to frame it. Maybe I'll put it behind me. So those were my two finishes. Yay. Um, let's see. 
Should we do, let's, um, okay, I have my Stitch Mania book that I showed everybody last time. So I, let's go through this and um, we'll see what I did. So, oh, the first day I worked on uh, let's see, Swamp Witch. Where she is. Uh, this is by Al Forest Embroidery. Swamp Witch. It's not the real name for it, but I don't know the real name for it. So, um, I'm looking at what the picture I took. I don't know. What I, I, I took the picture, this is the book, and I take the picture, I think I take it after, or after I finish for that day. So I don't know what I, I think, I think I did some of this border right here. I love her, I she's so fun. She's got mistakes too, but you can't sell them. Um, Alforce Embroidery, it's a kit, so everything comes with it, so. Swamp Witch. That was day one of Mania. Um, let's see. Day two, I spun the wheel. That's what I was, what I was doing. It was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I would spin the wheel to do a whip. And then Tuesday and Thursday, I would work on a new start and the same new start for the week, I think. That's what I was, no, maybe I did new starts. I don't know what I did. Anyway, um, for day two of this mania, I worked on uh, Wicked Witch and Grumpy Toad. This one came up a lot on my wheel. I worked on this for a few days. So actually you can see this was, this was the first day I worked on it. And like I said, I worked on that probably two more days just before I, yeah. And this is where I ended up at. So, I got um, a lot of the moon done. I think I I didn't work too much on the witch. Um, I finished this that I worked on that W. Oh, I did the I and the C and the moon. So this is um, Wicked Witch and Grumpy Toad Waxing Moon Designs. Um, I ha actually started this in Stitch Mania 2019, and I'm doing all the call for weeks dye works and DMC. And it calls for, I think it's called for a 28 count. Sorry, hold on, check. 28, oh, what is it? 28 count China Pearl Linen from Wichelt Imports. Now, uh, this doesn't look great to you. And I, this is like one of the first kits I had bought that I, um, or put together when I first started stitching. Actually, my mom had this kit and I got this stuff for it. But this isn't gray. I don't know. Uh, 20 account China Pearl Linen. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's, it doesn't look like the picture, does it? Nope. Anyway, I'm not gonna, I, I had a crazy thought of um, pulling it and restarting it on the gray. And I'm like, Ugh, no, forget it. I'm not going to do that. So um, let's put these back in the bags. Don't look at my backs. They're bad. Um, so I don't lose everything. Okay, so that was... Let me put this back in the bag too. I love the colors on this Swamp Witch. It's really a lot of fun. There's Nola. Danny's son is coming to visit this weekend for Father's Day and so we'll have three dogs again because so, he brings Kona with him. Um, okay. So that was day three. I worked on, did I pull it to bring it? I didn't bring it. Well, hold please. Let me go, it's right over here. 
stall like that. What's this? Is that a new a basket for my my whips? So they're not falling all over the floor. Um, sorry, it's not ironed because I goofed and didn't pull it. But um, on day three, I started. I pulled out Country Cottage Needleworks Afternoon in Paris. This is a remembrance piece for my trip to Paris last year. Sorry about the dog. I was watching, oh, I was reading some comments or there was a post on, I don't know where it was, but one of the Facebook groups and it was about things that you do don't like and like about floss tubes and, or floss tubers. And one was like, one lady said that she didn't like to hear their dogs or their animals. I'm like, oh, she probably doesn't like me because my dogs are always, even when I were on the Zoom meetings, my dogs are, I'm, I'm surprised my friends don't mute me all the time. They probably do and I don't know. Anyway, here's Afternoon Paris. This is such a cute piece. I think, um, I think I just worked on this one day. I think I put leaves in on that tree. I need to finish this. I think they should have put motorcycle instead of a bike. There are so many motorcycles in Paris. I didn't realize that. So that was day three. Um, I'm doing that with all the call for colors and it's on 32 count star sapphire linen. I'm trying to remember to say what I do. And I need to do the whole linking the, the charts and all that stuff too, but I'm not that good at that. Um, day four was another day of Wicked Witch and Grumpy Toad. So like I said, she came out a lot. Um, day five. I can't remember. Let me guess. I, I, I can't remember if I showed, had started this. This is a new start. Um, I think I just showed material and um, the chart. But this is the primitive hair, the mermaid of Salem Bay. Sorry, I got it in the plastic. And I was looking at this today and I love, I love the fabric. And I'm doing all the called for, um, called for colors. There's only like three, yeah, there's only three, four. There's four colors, they're all the blues. And, so this is my start. Okay, so the problem I have when I was looking at it, when I was ironing it, it's really, this is mountain mist, I believe. Yeah, this is mountain mist. And I was talking, I don't know, I was talking to Trish Turner, or she commented on my, um, I think it was Trish, that she was doing this too, and she didn't do use the mountain mist because she thought it was too green. And now I'm looking at it and she may be right because, and where's, she sent me more mountain mist. I mean, I think, sorry, crinkle, crinkle. Mountain mist is hard to find. I think this is trash, trash. Yeah, this is trash. So here's the mountain mist I got. And these are the other colors of it. I just think, I don't know. See, let me see. Yeah, it looks so green against these blues. Well, I don't know. Look at the picture again. I guess, I guess I gotta put some blues in it and see how it turns out, huh? Yes. Hmm. I'll keep going. Uh, that is, these are all the call for colors. And this is, uh, the fabric is primitive hair and it's Pirates Bay. Where is it? Pirates. Oh, I had a whole bunch of mountain mist here. Now I got all kinds of mountain pirates. Just, that's the, that's primitive hair. It's fun. All of my things are fun. I don't even have it in a project bag. This is everything's in here. Oops, sorry. Don't see, you didn't see anything. Okay, so that was day five, a new start. Fun, fun. Um, let's see. 
Oh, day six is um, when I actually pulled out Octopus's Garden, uh, Blackbird Designs. This is where I was before I had my finish. And let's see, I, I don't know. Sorry, I was just looking at it. I thought I did these Smyrna's when I was on a Zoom meeting with my stitchy group. Anyway, um, Blackbird Designs, Octopus's Garden. I started, actually started this in 2018. I did all the called for gentle arts and um, it's 32 count cedar plank by a lakeside linen. So I was working on that and I'm like, that's what it was that, that day. I was like, I'm going to finish this, but I didn't put the date I finished. Darn. Oh, well, um, let's see on the ninth, I pulled out mermaid of Salem Bay cause it was the weekly. That's when I was doing one new start a week. So I guess I pulled that out. I don't know. Um, and then on, let's see on the 10th, this was one of my whips I already had going and let's see if I look for the camera. I'm going to be dehydrated. I need to drink some more. And some people say they don't like to hear people drink, but you get a dry mouth and, um, sorry. Let's see. Um, so on the 10th, I worked on this one and it is Cottage of the Month, Country Cottage Needleworks, May. Funny story, all everyone's on Facebook and they're like showing that they got July finished and I'm still on May. I haven't finished it yet. I think it's, I had the great plan if I was going to do it once a month. I started this in April, I guess. Well, that didn't work. So it'll be for next year. Maybe I should, instead of going May, June, July, August, I'll go May and then I'll start with January. I guess I'll have some maybe in the beginning of the year. But here I am on this. It's cute. It's not really good to show. I've been working on this at lunch at work. So I didn't do any of school of magical stitches in May. I started that again in June and I was working on some stuff for that. So that's May. Cute. Um, back in the bag. Okay, um, that was that. Sorry, I'm got my head down looking at the book. Oh, the next uh, was the 12th, and that was a new start. And it's a new start. Oh, it is a very, very small new start. Why is this wet? I ironed everything and it's wet. Um, this is the string samplery baby it's cold outside doing that for the sow baby it's cold outside I already knew the haircut um and I've got this huge start there you go wow huh yep that didn't get much done so that was it I worked one day on it I think I even actually worked on it at lunch no I didn't yes I did I don't know. I I think I took, I can't see this, so I couldn't have worked on, worked on it at lunch. But anyway, there we go. That's that. So that was a new start. Heartstring Samplers, Baby is Cold Outside. I'm doing it on 36 count ale Edinburgh linen. And it's all the called for colors, which I'm not sure if I really like. But we'll see. I, I, I kind of think the. I'd like the house to be redder, but we'll see. On the 14th, I guess I didn't do anything on the 13th. On the 14th, I pulled out the May Cottage again. On the 15th, uh, Wicked Witch and Grumpy Toad was up on up again. On 
the night 18th um wicked witch and grumpy toad up again so i told you that got a lot of work and on the 19th i had a new start and the new start is here and again another very small new start but this is the kit and it's panna christmas moose i think a lot of people have seen that's done it's really cute and this is where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's a good start, huh? Wow. So I took this to work and it's so stiff. I took it to work to work on it at lunch and forgot my needle. So it's all the, it's a kit. So it's all the things that come with it. Um, and then that was it. That was the end of my book. So I did, I guess I worked on A Wonderful Life. I didn't pull it out. Hold please. I'm just batting a thousand. This is what happens when you don't take notes. Um, so this I need to work, I should work on this all the way because this is my, um, uh, piece for my grandson, but it's heart and hand, wonderful life. And I'm doing all the called for colors. It's on, do I have my tag? I don't think I, I'm not doing it on the called for I'm doing it on the, I don't think I'm doing it on the called for fabric. Hmm. Hmm. Can't see where. Anyway, I think I'm doing it on a 28 count mushroom Lugana. Sounds like something I would do. So, I didn't, I didn't iron this one in either because I didn't pull it out. I wasn't thinking. This is where I'm at. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've got quite a bit done. I have, um, I have about two thirds done. So, I, um, I researched where, because uh, I'm going to have this frame. And I um, researched where sh she'd had, where they got this frame that's in the picture, and they still have them available. So I think, and it wasn't too bad of a price. So I think I'll do it the same. But Wonderful Life, this one should um, be at the top of the list of things to do because it, um, it needs to get done. He's already. He's already, let's see, April, May, June. He was two months on, no, tomorrow, tomorrow he'll be two months. So, I don't want him, I don't want him to be walking by the time I get it done. So, um, geez, I'm sorry, I'm just falling apart here. Okay, so that was the end of Stitch Mania. Um, I mean, I, I spun my wheel a few times, but I just didn't write it down. My stomach is like growling, making noises. Okay, so um, let's look at the other whips I worked on. I worked on this a little bit. Little House Needleworks, Sucker Jack. This is the Sal with um, Stitching with the Sister Lees and uh, T. Martini Stitcher and Michelle Bendy, I think. Anyway, a lot of people have done it. A lot of people have finished it. Not me. But I'm working on it. I'm getting, you know, it's so cute. I, I mean, I'm doing all the call for colors. Um, but I pulled out a piece of 
Um, this is 36 count Edinburgh linen and sand. This was a piece in my stash. And this is where I'm at. So I did, um, I worked on this, this um, column right there. And I did her face and her hair. So she has a face and hair now. That was a dress. So pretty. So yeah. Did some more of that. I need to pick up this one again. Because um, Stitching with the Sister Leaves has a contest going in that um, you could win a $25 gift certificate to 123 Stitch or something like that, I think. Um, if you work on it and post it. So if I try it. I'll try to work on it. I don't know when I'm going to. Um, I pulled out something else that I hadn't worked on in a while. Um, this is going to be a birthday present for my friend. Um, I don't think she watches me, but if you do, Laura, um, fast forward a little bit. Or don't, or don't watch. Just walk away. Go get a drink or something. So anyway, um, this is Satsuma Street, Virgo. And, of course, I'm doing it in all the calls for. And that's what I was wondering is, oh, yeah, it's 14 count black eight. And I'm going to finish it just the way it is in the hoop. That's cute. So, uh, yeah, all the calls for DMC colors um, and uh, the 14 count Ada. So here's where I'm at. dress. Um, I worked some on the, the wings. I worked on the wings. Uh, yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of color. She'll really like it. She's like, she likes a lot of color. So her birthday's in September, September 4th. So I started last year for her birthday. So this is my California bag. I love this. Uh, can never, I never found this fabric again, but it's really cute. I've got turtles inside. So, um, worked on that. Then I did work on this some. Um, I really should, I need to finish this because I'm working on a long time. Uh, it's, uh, the blood with the blue flower quilting bee. And... I'm using all of the called for colors. Um, yeah. And it's on 40 count sheep straw linen by r, &R Productions. Reproductions. And here is where I'm at. I think I, um, since I last showed it, I think I've worked on this right here, this wing. So, it's so pretty. I love it. I love the colors. I'm going to get it done. So, yeah. That's that. I worked on that. Um, oh, speaking of Trish Turner, and we were talking about the mermaid, um, I was, ha I congratulated her. She got the, um, she's going to be the, the supplier of the charts, the hard copy charts for um, uh, Pam and Steph's uh, promotion with Twin Peak Primitives. So that's good. I was wondering, you know, I don't want I'm not going to say anything, but that's good. I'm happy for it. She said it'd be, it'll be a transition, you know, because you've got to get the charts and everything. And, you know, they take a while to get here, I guess, from the Netherlands. So, but that's good for her. I'm glad. She's gonna be good at that. She's she's on time on top of things. I get things so quickly from her. Um, okay, I have a few more new starts, so we'll go over those. Um, this one is primitive hair, which at the beach. And 
I'm using, um, it's on, I'm using all the call for, um, Reef Style Works, Gentle Arts, and one DMC. And it is on, um, Primitive Hair, uh, Mermaid Bay. And here's where I'm at. So I got quite a bit done. She's fun. I didn't think I was going to like the the horizontal on her face because in the picture it looks really really variegated but it's not bad I mean it's not I, it's not crazy I um I did this twice because why did I do it twice I was off one row and it didn't look very good so but yeah this was fun this is fun stitch just really quick because you're just so I like her. She's started her. And oh yeah. I started this one last night. This is also Paul. I got I have to go get another bag. I just realized that I've got a haul that I kitted up. Crazy. Sorry. At least it's right here. It's right here. This is a new bag. I don't have any more. I don't think. I didn't. Actually, I, I put this one up and um, it didn't. No one bought it. So I when I was like, it's got little things in here. I thought it was cute. Nobody bought it. So I'm like, I'll grab it and put my stuff in it. I have a friend and she buys my bags and she said that every bag I make, um, I should grab them for myself because I don't have enough bags for all my stuff. And I'm like, that's a good idea, but it doesn't happen. So anyway, this is a new start. This is a bag that I will have in my shop. Um, it's a, uh, this is the inside. It's so cute. This is really Scandinavian looking to me. Um, I don't know if I have any up there now, but I've got material I gotta see how much material I have to make. I think I have a, I could put more on there. I think it's cute. Okay, enough about bags. Um, so I'm working on Teresa Kogut, Magic of Christmas. This is so, I just love this. This reminds me, I've said it before, I'll say it again, um, Frosty the Snowman, doesn't it? Frosty the Snowman is, is as old as I am. That's old. Oh, I just had a birthday last week. I'm even older. Yeah, I didn't do much. We had the family over. The Harbor went swimming. We had a little barbecue. You know, didn't get to be this age. It's like, yeah. But anyway. I'm digressing. So, um, I'm doing it on, I kept this thing, where is it? Yes, I'm doing it on 32 Count Twilight Blue Linen. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And this is how much I've gotten done. I started this last night. I have a mistake in it. But I'm not going to fix it. Because you don't know. And. Can't tell. But I could show you. But I'm not going to. So isn't it cute? And I love my needle minder. I think I got that from. Mad for minders. Oh I just bought a whole. I went crazy on there. Um. I don't know. I was like. I've got, I think I've got seven coming or something like that. I wanted free shipping. So, so there we go. Um, magic, what is it? Magic of Christmas, Teresa Kogut. Cute, cute. And then my next new start was um, my last, right? My last. And I didn't take it out of the Q-snap either. Um, this is a stitch along I'm doing with um, Fresh Coast Stitcher. And um, we both, she's doing it. She started it. We both started in June. It's just we're, we just both started in June. Um, there's no hashtag or anything. Um, 
uh, we, she started it for her anniversary and I started it for um, my birthday stuff. So anyway, I think she started at the beginning of the month and I started it like a week later. But it is, I take this? Uh, the Scarlet Letter, a peacock, unicorn, a badger. You've all seen it. I absolutely love working on this. I could not put it down. I didn't want to put it down. I did so much homework. I did penalty stitches just for the School of Magical Stitches just so I could work on it. And um, I'm doing it on a, oh, what is this? I think it's 32 count evenly. Just be, I think it is a 32 count because I want to be able to see it. And I'm doing all the call for DMC. I'm doing it in DMC. So I think you can do it in silks too, but it's just, there's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. And so here we go. It's my start. It's got a bug. I don't know what kind of bug it is. I, um, I started up in the corner, which I usually don't do, but I thought mm, I'm going to work on, on pages. So I thought that was the best way to do that. This is so fun. I, I mean, this green, there's a lot of green. I'm going to do the book. Um, let me see if I can show a picture. Yeah, look at all this green. That's just, that's stitched. So, yeah. So I was outlining, um, I was outlining this bird right here. Let's see if I, that's all I've done is that little corner up there. And um, and then I was just filling in the green. See, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fabric. But um, I love it. I love the colors. The colors are just gorgeous. They just there's a lot. But my colors. I don't show colors very well, but. Anyway, fun, fun. So that was my, that was my whips. That was my new starts. That was my mania. That was it. That's what I've been doing. That was pretty much the month of May. Um, I, um, I want to get that Strut and Tom fully finished. I'd love to do it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm sure. I think I'll have my granddaughter for a little bit, so. Maybe she can help me. Oh, I got her a, um, oh, it's over there. I got her a, a needlepoint kit when I was at Joanne's. She loves rainbows in it. It's a wizard rainbows. And it says six plus, but she's five. We'll, we'll try. So, um, yeah, where are we going? We're 38 minutes. Maybe we'll be done quick. Wow. I guess I just haven't really talked about much. Anyway, um, I'm, oh, I should talk louder too. I've been told that I that people can't hear me, so I'm sorry. All right, well, let's go in a haul. Um, I uh, this is the one that I kitted up. Um, so it's it's all haul. I think I haven't shown this. I got this. Um, Tempting Tangles Designs, and it's Quakers in Holland. Because I love like things all windmills, all Holland stuff. I lived in the Netherlands, so um, I have a, a fond memory. Of, and I was just there in October. And I hope to be there next year with the Dutch Mania. I have to see. I'm going to um, StitchCon, so that'll be fun. I don't know, you know, and I'm supposed to go to Galleria this year, but I don't know, you know, I don't know. We're supposed to go to Lake Tahoe, um, which is north, northern California on the re, uh, Nevada border. But we have rented an Airbnb and they haven't um, given them the green light yet for, um, to open it up, I guess. So I don't know if we're even going. So that's a bummer. But anyway, this is cute. I love it. Uh, Tempting Tangle Designs. 
and I'm doing it on, I got the fabric for it and I got all the colors. I think I have all the floss. I might not, but I'm just doing it on a 32 count um, even weave, antique white. 32 count is good for me because I can see it without magnification, I think. Yeah. So, um, that's for that. So that was haul. Haul haul. Even, it was a new bag I made. Decent. So that's a new haul too. Okay. Um, more haul. It's been a while, so I've got, I've got, I've got a bit. Not, not, well, I don't know. Yeah. So I was on Teresa Kogut's, um, she has a new, new one. It reminds me of the Blackbird Lettuce, we, um, patriotic one. But anyway, uh, I think I pre-ordered that. And I did, I think I bought one of her Monsters, Monster series. I don't know the name of them, you know. Anyway, I was on her, um, on our site and I got these cards um, because sometimes I have uh, people who buy my bags who have bought a numerous times and I'm like I don't want to send them the same thank you you know I mean I, I write a thank you note to everyone but um, these are just her angel prints and they have nice things on the back say like here's one and it says, spend as much time with your loved ones as possible. It's time you'll never regret and time you'll never get back. So I got one of these from um, Colleen from Stitching with the Sisterlies when I won a giveaway they had. And I thought that that was so nice. And I just, so I send it to, you know, someone, some of my special customers. They'll get this instead of a, a Chris, uh, Christmas card instead of a um, thank you card. I, I say thank you, but you know, I thought that was, thought that was a nice little thing to stick in my bags. Um, let's see, I bought this uh, Heart and Hand. Uh, it's pocket round, one of the pocket rounds, and it's B. I love all things Bs. And I think I can get, I saw that uh, Fat Quarter Shop had the round, the little round heart wearable. So I need to get that. I need to order that. Um, that's cute. I'm gonna do that. I don't know where I got it. I got it probably Trish, did I get it from Trish? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I got, yeah, I think I did. Uh, I got Heartstring Samplery. Flanders Fields Biscornu. Biscornu? I can never say that. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh, they remind me of poppies. Are they poppies? Do you think? This one reminds me of poppies. So, hearts. Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery. Knocking it out of the park. Really pretty. Though. Beautiful. I've never made one of these before, so. We'll see how that goes. Oh, get real, Terry. You'll probably never do it. I'm trying to. Um, I did uh, Michelle Bendy's auction. I finally was um, on the same time her auction was, and I won a few things on there. Um, I won this Country Spirits collection, Shamrock Bunny, Needle Case, and Scissor Fob. Uh, so, it's a little worn up, but there's the scissor fob, and then there's the scissor case. No, the ca needle case. It's got a gold, oh, it's a ladybug. I'm Irish, so I like shamrocks and stuff like that. My last name's Finnegan. So, yeah. Speaking of needle books... Needle case that I found. I found this. Um, I was going through some more stuff of my mom's and kind of. She had um, probably 30 Vera Bradley bags. And not just the bag. She had the, 
the case and the, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, checkbook covers and the little coin purses and the, it was crazy. And I, I couldn't get rid of them all, you know, right away because they just had memories. But, um, I was able to get rid of some, a, a lot of them. I gave them the goodwill. So, um, in, but in one of the bags, I found, um, this little needle case. And I don't know if she did it, uh, or if one of her friends did it, but there's, um, one of her friends from EGA actually has watched me before. So if you're watching, it's Mary, um, do you know who, who did this? There's no initials on it. I don't even know who. I don't even know who the pattern is from, but that was a nice little find. Okay, so back to the charts, the haul. Um, I got that one from Michelle Bendy. I got a little couple pieces of fabric because I don't have enough. I thought these would be good for little um, ornaments or something. I um, I don't know what this is. It looks like a 36 count, maybe maybe, or 32, I'm not sure, no, this one does have a tag on it, and it is, um, uh, linen, 40 count, ale, just a little piece, I wonder if, um, if ex school friend would fit on here, Lindy Stitches, I'm gonna pull this, in. I'm gonna leave this out, and, um, see if that would work, because I need to find a piece for that. Uh, I got this on her auction, um, All Dolled Up by Little House Needleworks, Liberty and Justice. They're cute. Uh, that. Um, I also got this one. I, why did I get this? I think I like the saying. But it's, um, oh, and it kind of, I got some, it came with some of the flosses. But it is Plum Street Sampler Serial Bowl Collection of Sampler Lessons, and it's lesson one. So, and it just says, make use of present time. I think that's why I liked it. Make use of present time. Where's Molly? Molly's barking now. Probably something... A lizard or something. I'm sorry if you don't like my dogs and I'm sorry if I don't talk loud enough. I'm, I'll try to remember to speak up. Okay, um, now on to, that was Michelle Bendy. On to some, I got these from, I want to say I got these from uh, Threads Entwined. This one I got from, um, Oh, if I had my phone, I, uh, it was a new shop I bought because I was looking for something specific. I was looking, okay. This is all from, uh, Threads Entwined. Uh, the Blackbird Designs put out a new, um, or they reprinted the, uh, Loose Feather Mystery Series. And it's the three pieces. They're all stitched together. Well, all, all of them stitched, can be stitched together. I guess it was a mystery, mystery. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and it was Loose Feathers Summer. Did you get those in there too? I don't I thought it was just the one. Oh, you get more than, oh, okay. So this is the piece that you can do them separate or you can put all the three together, I'll show you. And then these are the other two patterns in there. I didn't even know. He's cute. Huh. Hmm, that's sweet. A little strawberry. So that's summer. And then there's autumn. Um, and then on autumn, there's 
a pink pumpkin blossom sewing box and a pumpkin blossom pin cushion. Nice. Because I'm do I'm get I've been watching Brenda and the Serial Starter and you know how Brenda says buy all things Blackbird. So I've been doing my buying all things Blackbird. Sorry for the hair. I'm sweating in there there. Um so here we go and here's winter. And then there's a Eveline Cunningham and Winter's Night Drum on the back. And this shows all of them stitched together, which I probably will do. Wait, I don't have that one. Is that? Oh, no, this, it's this one. Ugh. Yeah, all of them stitched together. Isn't that nice? That's gonna that is I got those from Threads Entwined. Um I ran over and had to get this because um yeah. With thy needle and thread, Brenda Gervais, uh Project Quarantine, stay home and stitch. I wish I could have stayed home and stitched. I had to go to work. But I'm happy to have a job. So that's really cute. I'm gonna have to see if I, what this calls for because what does it call for? Patriot's Brew Linen by R&R. &R. Oh, hmm. Kind of all over the place with colors. But that's cute. I like how she has a little strawberry over here. Okay. And um, with that order, I got um, Madame Chantilly Celebrate 4th of July because I'm starting to do liking patriotic things. I've never liked patriotic things before. I never liked samplers. I never liked patriotic. Now I'm sampler and patriotic crazy. This is super cute. There's a whole series of these, the tiered, on the tiered, what do you call those? Tear trays. So that's that's fun. I don't have anything Fourth of July. Um. So this is another. I I bought these at a different sh shop. And I'm sorry, I don't have her name. Oh, it's on Etsy. And if I didn't wasn't using my phone, I would look it up. I'll try to make sure. And, uh, give her a shout out next time. She was really sweet. She, um, and I, I guess I'd bought so much at one time that I was like, she's like, I didn't, you know, I didn't want your order to be late or your orders running late. She goes, the one chart that you ordered, I pulled it out and it was just a ragged copy. So she wanted to get a new copy. So, um, I was, she was waiting for that. And I'm like, no problem. You know, I didn't, I forgotten I'd order it. So yeah. And there was a week in there that I was a little crazy doing some retail therapy. Um, so I got, I saw somebody stitching this on Instagram and I needed to do it. So I needed to have it. And it is Plum Street Stamps, Plum Street Samplers Stranded Jacks. I, you know, the one with the whale and it's got a pumpkin on the whale and the mermaid with the witch's hat. Uh, I have a Halloween um, um, ornament tree and these would be really cute on that. So I had to have that. Plum Street Stampler, Stranded Jacks. And then along with that, because you can't get just one, I got um, Blackbird Designs. And it's all about the Blackbirds lately. Halloween Eve. I love this. I, I just, I've always loved it. So, yeah. What year was this done? I don't know. Okay. 2011. So. Um, I think I got this from, where did I get this from? I think I got this from the Cottage Needle um, Etsy. Uh, 
I saw this and just about fell off my chair. And so anyway, um, it's the new one from Paulette Stewart, Plum Street Samplers, and it is a new constellation. How big is this thing? Is it big? It doesn't say. Say I'm, I don't want to open it up. It's pretty big. But again, the patriotic. I I loved the board, the flowers, in the borders. Yeah. Okay. Um. I saw this and I ran over and actually I saw it on one, two, three stitch and um, they had a mistake on their website and they were said that this chart was done by tiny modernist. So I messaged um, Twin Peaks Primitives and said, uh, you might, might want to give one, two, three stitch a call or message them that they've got a boo-boo on their website. So it's been fixed since then. So I guess they must've contacted them. But this is Twin Peak Primitives, Pilgrims of Plymouth. It was, what did it for me on this was the, the flowers here, these, these two. So, I think I can get it done by Thanksgiving. I don't think so. Okay, um, I don't know if these were free. They must have been free. I hope they're free. They're free, yeah. Because I'm gonna show them. Um, Jaeger and Yarn, I, if you go on their website, you can, this is uh, 2020 and it's all toilet paper. I thought this was perfect. And while I was there, they also had another one and it says, um, it's chaos, be kind. And I just thought that's perfect because it is kind of chaos and we all have to be kind. So those are some freebies there. Um, I don't know, DMC 22, 21, 19. I don't know what those codes are. Is there a DMC 22? I don't know. Sorry, I have to get another drink, sorry. Mm. It was all about the Blackbird designs last month um had to have this this reminds me of another one from the um trick-or-treat book i have but this is um this is first in the sewing box series midnight ride and i want to do it on on the box too the sewing box sugar box right uh, yeah, probably, I don't even know if they have it anymore, but what year is this? 2013. So, and then this little pin cushion, I don't know what she's at. But I told Danny when I was, I, he was sitting there with me when I was ordering it. I'm like, it's a raven with, uh, uh, with a witch's hat riding a broom. I have to have it. And he goes, of course, who do you need that? And she was being funny with me. Okay. And then, um, with that one, I also ordered this one because, you know, you can't um, have one chart go by itself. Travel alone. Um, Blackbird Designs, Away We Ride. I was on a, yeah, I was on a Blackbird um, Halloween thing. I've loved this. I've always wanted to get it, so. Away we ride till it's dark as pitch to find the home of the Wicked Witch. Awesome. My mom would have loved this, I think. She was not a sampler person either, but I think she would have loved that. I um, can't show you this, but it's the um, Teresa Kogut. It's an, is it a, I think it's another Sal, the Stitching with the Sisterlies is doing. Um, it's the United We Stand. It's one of the two girls. And um, it's one of the dresses. And the one has the bun and a bird, and the other has like the... Liberty crown, so sweet. And she did, um, she did this and she has, is this one? No, is this one? She, 
Teresa Cogut, if you go on her um, website, on her Etsy, um, you can go on there and uh, she's got a bunch of PDFs that she and her husband, Kevin, um, will be donating the proceeds to brick and mortar shops. And I know Pam or Steph showed one for keepsakes. It's a little sheep. And then there was another one. Was it for the attic? Or acorn center? I don't know. But there's a few in there. And they're going to donate all the proceeds. So I think I... I didn't buy one. I put it in my cart. So I was going to want to look a little bit more. And so... But I this one is uh, United We Stand. It's a sal. I can't show you because I just have the chart. So... But you can go to her um, website and... Um, download that right right away and it's all yours okay um, I got this with a big order of DMC I ordered it but it's another Twin Peak Primitives and it's coffee to focus it says hocus pocus I need coffee to focus oh, that was cute that would be easy that's gonna be easy to stitch up right what is this uh, Ada. Mm. Ada 20. Mm. I don't know. I think you can do just about anything. Maybe coffee dye something. That would be... I don't think I'm going to do it in Ada, though. I'll do it in linen. Um, so that was that. We're almost done. Oh, it's been an hour. Okay, wrap it up, Tara. Um, wrap it up. So, uh, speaking of Blackbird Designs, <laughs> boy, um, this I had ordered a few months ago. I'm not going to say where I ordered it because um, it's been, I saw, I even posted on a post, you know, um, things have been slow, but this was was really ridiculous and I um I talked to her and I said you know checked in on it going I know things are running slow my stuff's running slow um but you know where is it so and then I waited another month but it came finally and it is Blackbird Designs Sweet Land of Liberty this was re-released and I'm so glad because this spread here was one of my unicorn charts so I was really happy to see that they re-released the book. And I haven't really even looked at this book yet, but, but oh my gosh. Look at that. With the bought ribbon around it. <gasps> That's just too cute. I like that, that they give you the directions and where they got the stuff and what, you know, how to make it just like they did. I like this one too. I think I'll show you this. This is just, I mean, uh, put something over it. Um, this is this one. I think, I think, hmm. Did Brenda do that? Brenda, or she's wanting to do that from Brenda and the Serial Starter? She doesn't like Eagles though, but I think she said that she would like to do that. Um, what else is in this book? Now that we've gone over an hour, might as well just keep going. I don't know. Do you like longer videos or shorter videos? I kind of like longer ones just because I don't want to change it all the time. You know, when they're short, it's like I gotta, oh, find something else. I'm usually just listening. But anyway, Sweet Land of Liberty, Blackbird Designs. It was a Blackbird Designs month. How many do I have? I don't even want to count. Six? And then, I think I did this last night. Did I buy this last night? Uh, I'm not sure. But, it goes this way. Um, I got these from Lindy Stitches. Um, I downloaded these. Downloaded on the PDFs. And it is a Stitch for Sweet Freedom. I think this is Sal too. Um, I want to say Stitching with the Sister Leaves again. But, um, yeah. I've seen this done and I fell in love with it, so I had to run over to Lindy Stitches and get stuff. Oh, wait, that reminds me, I got more Lindy Stitches stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got more, sorry. 
not much more. Um, so I got that one, and while I was there, I also got beautiful things. I just love it. Oh, my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches, too. I just... She's got such good designs. Yeah. Can't wait to see what she's got new coming up new. I've got a secret. Can't tell you. But hopefully it'll be happening soon. I've been doing it. I've been working on a collaboration. So, um, this was just more haul. I got the, um, finally got the, the fabric and all the, I'm doing, I'm doing Kringles. I think I've shown this. I showed this last time. I'm doing Kringles, but I'm worked on getting all the DMC for it. I am doing it all in DMC. So, so I got that too. Um, I don't think I showed this last time, but I got this um, scissor fob from oh, Anna Stitch Toolbox. She does bags, and I just I saw this on her her. Uh, Etsy shop and it has a little sewing sewing machine and this little um, made with love so there's only one left so I had to have it and I she didn't give me the scissors but the scissors are um bee scissors most cute I have so many scissors it's ridiculous she didn't give me the scissors I just got the fob from her so hop on over and check out her stuff. And then the last thing I got um, uh, was because I had FOMO, I was fear of missing out, I got all of the stuff to finish, um, all the lady dot uh, create stuff to finish my Lindy Stitches Merry Manatee, which I haven't even started yet. And it was funny because Steph Webb said to me, what are you up to now? And I'm like, FOMO. I was afraid I'd miss out. And I wanted these pins. Because it's a drum. And I want to put the pins in the drum. So, yeah. FOMO. All right, people. Um, That's it. Oh, should I do announce that now? Sure. Okay. Um, I am going to have a giveaway. I have, I started my Etsy shop on July 7th of last year and we're coming up on the anniversary and I would like to give away two bags. So, um, I'm going to give away two bags. Uh, they could be any bag you want. Just, it's like a, you know, you don't have to do it right away. You can do it later when you find something that you like or, you know. But I want I want to give away two bags. So right now, that's what I'm gonna do, um, and hopefully, um, I'll be back sooner rather than later, and um, I'll announce those two winners of the two bags. So just thank you so much for all your support of all everyone who's my friends on Instagram and who buy bags for me and this community is just it's just amazing you know i mean with all the trouble that i've had um you know during this time getting supplies and people are just so understanding and and they're just nice you know i mean even like if i, I made a mistake on something and i um i had to message someone saying you know i don't have this colorway but i have this one you know and Everyone's, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for that one time when someone just goes, no, or, you know, is grumpy, but it never happens. And just everybody is just wonderful. And I, I appreciate all of you so much. I'm going to get choked up. <laughs> um, but who knew, you know, that, um, my shop would do as well as it is. Um, so here's a, here's a time when, um, if you're not interested in seeing what I got in my shop, then I'll see you again next time. And, um, thanks for stopping in. But if you do want to see, um, I'm just going to show, I am running late. I mean, I'm running, I was always about a one week turnaround and until I can get, you know, I get inventory up and it's gone. So 
um, I am running about a two week processing now. You know, I'm gonna say two to three, just because I'm, I'm, I know it'll be closer to two, one to two, but on my size is two to three, because um, just because the more orders I get, the longer it takes. And like I said, I try to, um, to get them done um, and then get the inventory up and then list them, but I get super excited that I want to show everybody, and then I have to a lot. I have twenty-seven to make. So anyway, I just want to say that that I am running a little later. Um, you know, not all the time. I hope, but you know, the the more I, the more people like me, the the more orders I get, and I'm just one person, so I can't. I can't. No one can do, you know, and I think about that, having someone help me, but it's, I'm, it's how I see it. You know what I mean? It's not, I guess I could have somebody cut something, but what if it's a fussy cut or what if I'm thinking or, you know, I don't know. It's just, I, it's, it's, it's very personal. So anyway, let's look at some bags. Okay. Um, this is one I had up, up um, this is a Lewis and Irene, um, I call it Ocean Friends. And the inside is uh, seahorses. I am out of this one, I think. I'm trying to find more, because I'd like to make more. So keep a lookout, I'll try. I'm, I'm really looking hard for that. This one I will have more of in my shop. Um, I have a couple I need to make. I, I need to see how many I have, but this is um, the hedgehogs. Very cute hedgehogs, I think. This one. And this is the coordinating. Um, and this one, I put this on Instagram. I fell in love with this fabric. And I thought it would be flying off of my shop. And it hasn't. Um, so I don't know. I think my pictures are bad. but Or maybe it just, nobody really likes it. But I do. So this is um, uh, falling for you, and it's you know it's it looks really bright on the camera, but it I don't think it's that bright. It just looks brighter on camera. So anyway, and then this is the inside. So so I I think it's beautiful. I just think it's beautiful. It's muted. I, I maybe it's. I love hydrangeas, and these remind me of hydrangeas. So maybe that's it. But beautiful bag. Um, I'm doing an order, a wholesale order. Hope to get that out this weekend. Um, for a woman who has a shop in Virginia, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, somewhere. Anyway, um, she's she has a prim. Uh, she a lot of her stuff is, um, prim decorating and stuff. Um, and but she does sell cross stitch, but she wanted um, more of the bags to be a prim look. So this one is going, um, and I've got some more. Um, I'm just going to show some color things that I plan on getting together at some point. Um, these two, that's really cute. That's a. I should do this one sooner than later. So it reminds me of Fourth of July, which pretty soon. We're be in Christmas in July, and people want Christmas bags. Just kidding. Um, let's see this one. I sometimes I buy these um, fat quarter bundles, and um, just to see how they how they go and how they look. And um, this is the cows. Those will be go together. I love that cow. Okay, so that one, um, this is another one with the black and white of the red and white farm life I showed you. And those two will go together. This will be the outside, this will be the inside. And these are just going to be one-offs, you know, I've got one. So if you see something that you like, message me because I'll save it for you of these one-offs. Um, and I'll just invoice you or, or put a reserved you this is um this is like the the this 
you know, the red and white, but it's in the colors. I like it, the turquoise. Those look like they're outside in. Um, and this one is the black and white sheep. And this will be the inside. I made this in red and white, and that sold. Went to my friend. Ashley, did you buy that? Or Andrea? One of you. Um, these are, I don't know about these. These are a little, I don't think I'm going to show you these. I don't know. These are, um, these, this will be the outside, this will be the inside, maybe. Uh, they're kind of different. I don't know the, but I think I'd give it a try. Outside, in, outside, inside. I think they'll look pretty once they're made. Um, this is cute. I like this one. This is the outside. This is the inside. Yeah. I always think of uh, the Real Housewives when with all their Pandoras, and I'm just like this a little open. Oh well. Um, and this one, I don't know. I don't think this goes to good together. I don't think so. I don't know. Outside, inside. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Um, we've got more of this. This is in the line with the, um, the hedgehogs. This is, is this Dear Stella? That Dear Stella is one of my favorite. Um, but this is more of the little fairies. See? Very cute. I'll go inside. Um, the same line, in the same line is some deer. I'll do the deer. With the yellow. I think it's just deer. Yeah. That's kind of fall like. And then the fox. Foxes. Yeah. That's cute. All right. I don't know. So those are cute. I'll get those hooked up. Um, we're getting into Christmas. So we got these two. Uh, look at, I like, it's cute, little Mrs. Claus, cute, outside, inside. This one, oh my god, this is frogs, and look at the little mom, daddy dog, the frog, and little frogs are all having fun at the lake, They're having a picnic over here. Uh, inside. A couple left. Just because it's fun. Um, this, I had, I had, I did this in a patriotic. And, um, I have a lot of lists left. And I saw this. Those will go together. And then I have a Halloween. Um. And these two will go together. It's funny, I um, I just put a Halloween bag up that I've had the material for for probably a year, and um, I didn't, I just didn't make it because I didn't really think anyone would like it. It was sold, and it was crazy. So it's funny that some things that I think, you know, people would love like this, sit sit on the store. But anyway, okay, that's it. I, um, I gotta clean up this mess. I've got to make some bags, make some dinner, and upload this long video. So, thanks for hanging in there with me. Remember, I'm gonna give away two bags. Um, uh, I'll do that on my next video, which hopefully will not be six weeks. I, I can't promise, but, you know, it is what it is. I am not on a schedule, so. Thanks for hanging in there and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.